This is our barrel garden, and we'd like to show you how we did it. About a year and a half ago, we took out our above ground swimming pool because we just got tired of the maintenance and the expense, and we were no longer using it, and we put in this barrel garden. My husband bought used food grade 55 gallon plastic barrels, and he cut the top third of the barrel off. There is a top and bottom to these barrels, and the top has two white caps on it. He ran his jigsaw along a ridge that's found on the barrel, and that was his guideline. He also did the same for the lip on the top third of the barrel. This is really important to cut off because it allows the barrel top to slide down to the barrel bottom. He also cut a four inch hole in the center, a two inch hole on the side, and drilled several small holes in the top for drainage. And he cut slits along the edge, so again that the top of the barrel would slide down to the bottom of the barrel. He cuts a piece of four inch perforated drain tile, which will act as a wick. He packs the drain tile full of soil and covers it with a piece of drain tile sock cloth, which is found anywhere drain tile is sold. Ladies hosiery could also be used. He secures the drain tile sock with a cable tie. This sock prevents soil from falling out. The sock cover tube is then stuffed into the four inch center hole he previously cut. Notice that he left the drain tile about three quarters of an inch longer than it needed to be. That's because he'll use a 10 inch gutter nail to hold the wick in place. We found over time that pressure from the dirt pushes on the drain tile and can cause it to fall in the water reservoir, but the gutter nail keeps it secure. Next, he takes a piece of thick wall one inch PVC pipe and cuts it long enough to go from the bottom of the barrel to the top. And this is how we water our barrels. Each barrel holds about 15 gallons of water. Notice how he has cut an angle at the bottom of the PVC pipe. This angle helps allow the water to flow freely into the barrel and it also prevents suction. He secures the PVC pipe to the barrel side with a twist tie. This pipe also works well for dropping liquid fertilizer down to the water supply. The drain tile wick, the PVC pipe, and the reservoir holder all make this barrel self-watering. Over time, he's discovered that it's beneficial to add a circle cut out of weed blocker fabric. This is a landscape fabric which allows water to pass through it. This fabric prevents the dirt that will be added to the barrel from falling down into the water reservoir. Remember all those small holes he drilled in the top? Well, they're necessary so the soil won't sour, but this fabric allows the water to drain down and out of the soil, but it catches the dirt and holds it back. And also, should you ever need to remove the dirt from the barrel, well, this fabric makes it a lot easier. One of the last things is he drills a small hole about an inch below where the top third of the barrel is sitting in the outer barrel, and this acts as an overflow drain. Now he fills the barrel with compost and soil and plants. One of the great things about these barrels is how thickly they can be planted. Here we have about 15 to 18 okra plants in one barrel. Because the soil is so healthy and there's a steady water supply, we can plant many plants in one barrel. Like in a typical barrel, he'll put three or four eggplants, or six or seven pepper plants, or three or four squash plants, sometimes five or six cucumber plants, or four tomato plants. So a person doesn't need a lot of barrels or a big space to grow a huge amount of food. As time has gone on, we have added more barrels, but our first year we just started with a few for a family of three, and we had vegetables all summer and into the winter. I'd like to point out that we don't change the soil of our barrels each year. We just keep adding more compost to the top each time before we plant. The landscaping left over from our pool hides the barrels. And at first, I was so happy about this. It's the only reason I agreed to my husband putting in a barrel garden so the neighbors wouldn't have to see it. Because let's face it, they're not really all that attractive. Here's the view from our yard that most people have, and you can see that the barrels are pretty well hidden. But you know, after two years of growing all these beautiful organic vegetables, I'm not sure it would bother me anymore. I would care whether or not the barrels can be seen. But if you don't like the way they look, they could easily be painted with some of those specialty paints on the market. You know, the ones made for plastics, or they could also be hidden behind a fence or a screen. Of all the ways we've tried gardening over the years, this is the easiest. Our property has poor soil, plus it's so hot and dry where we live, and now we're able to control the quality of the soil, we have no weed problems, and it's very efficient when it comes to watering. We fill up our barrels about two times per week, depending on how hot the temperature gets. And also, the area we're growing in is only 32 feet in diameter, so it doesn't take a lot of space to grow a tremendous amount of food. 
Also, I had an uncle recently who bought some barrels and built himself a garden, and he's reported that it's wonderfully low maintenance, and he doesn't have to bend or squat, which is very hard for him since he has Parkinson's disease, and he's thrilled with how much food he's able to produce. So this kind of gardening is great for people with disabilities or who have limited physical capabilities. And for us, it's so low maintenance that we can leave it for several days at a time without worrying whether or not it needs watering. I hope you'll like this video, you know, maybe give it a thumbs up and share it. I hope it can inspire someone and show them alternate ways to grow their own food because growing your own organic food is something to consider if you want optimal help. Thank you.